By the early 2010s, artificial intelligence was becoming the next big battleground for corporate tech. Companies like Google, Amazon, and Facebook were moving fast, reshaping consumer tech before most even knew what was happening. Microsoft was in the race too, but it wasn't pretty. While Google's AI was beating world champions at complex games and Amazon's Alexa was becoming a household name, Microsoft's early AI efforts barely registered with consumers. And then in 2016, a single high-profile experiment made their AI impossible to ignore. And not in a good way. What followed was one of the most visible failures in tech, and eventually one of the most unlikely turnarounds in history. In the early 2010s, Microsoft wasn't completely absent in the AI race, it just was forgettable. Its virtual assistant Cortana entered the market in 2014, around the time Amazon introduced Alexa, and many Apple users had come to depend on Siri. But without a foothold on mobile devices, the platform where users were forming new habits, Cortana never gained meaningful traction. By 2018, very few users reported using Cortana as their primary voice assistant. Microsoft would eventually shut it down in its mobile apps and scale back Cortana entirely, quietly retreating from the consumer AI space for the time being but the bigger blow was yet to come. In 2016, Microsoft launched an AI chatbot on Twitter named Tay, designed to mimic the conversational style of a 19-year-old American girl. Tay was supposed to learn and evolve through casual interactions with users online. I know hindsight's 2020, but come on, a teenage chatbot that was gonna learn from people who are chronically online? They even called her the AI with no chill, which, physically hurts me to say at this age. Unsurprisingly, it took less than a day for internet trolls to weaponize Tay's learning process. The chatbot began repeating conspiracy theories, racial slurs, and hate speech, all learned from the very users it was supposed to engage. And Microsoft was forced to pull Tay offline after just 16 hours, later issuing public apologies and admitting it had critically underestimated how quickly the system could be corrupted. Not only did it affect Microsoft's reputation, it revealed a deeper problem. They weren't keeping up with the other tech giants. Internally, the failure was treated as more than just a PR disaster. It was a signal that Microsoft's AI efforts were fractured, reactive, and too disconnected from real-world conditions. Within months, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella restructured their AI efforts, forming a new AI and research division to consolidate efforts across the company. In 2019, Microsoft invested $1 billion in a relatively unknown startup. OpenAI. At the time, the move actually raised eyebrows. Most of the industry's major players were building AI capabilities internally, but Microsoft had already done that with Tay. Microsoft's decision to partner and to build a dedicated Azure supercomputer to power OpenAI's research looked unconventional at best, but it gave Microsoft something valuable. First access to OpenAI's breakthroughs, if there were any. By 2021, those bets started to show results. Microsoft integrated OpenAI models into GitHub Copilot, a tool that helped developers write code faster and more efficiently by generating suggestions in real time. Early success with Copilot signaled that generative AI could be more than just a research project. It could be a commercial project. But it wasn't until late 2022 when the rest of the world took notice. OpenAI's ChatGPT launched to overwhelming demand, reaching 100 million users in just two months. ChatGPT was and still is a phenomenon, and Microsoft was deeply integrated at every level of it. In early 2023, Microsoft committed billions more to its partnership with OpenAI, securing deeper ties and exclusive rights to deploy OpenAI's most powerful models across its platforms. And it didn't waste time either. Microsoft launched a new version of Bing, now powered by a next-generation OpenAI model, turning the search engine into an AI-driven conversational tool. For the first time in over a decade, Bing wasn't looked at as just a punchline. It was being called one of the biggest threats to Google's search dominance, but not in the way you might expect. To be clear, Google still owns search. Year after year, Google holds about 90% of the search market. And as amazing as Bing is with ChatGPT now, it's probably not going to steal an enormous portion of Google's search market share. But Microsoft has influenced the future of search, which could cause Google to lose billions of dollars from its search business anyways. Microsoft moved first by adding AI-generated summaries to Bing, changing what users expect from search. So instead of just seeing 10 links, people now want quick conversational answers, which has forced Google to rethink its entire model, even if it threatens its biggest revenue stream. Google makes most of its money by showing ads next to search results. So if a user stops clicking on links, that ad revenue, which makes up more than half of Alphabet's total income, could shrink fast. This is still ongoing, so we'll see how it plays out over the next couple of years, but this was just the start for Microsoft's AI. Microsoft's real bet was to strengthen its hold on the corporate world, where the biggest money is made. Instead of treating AI as a standalone product, it began weaving into the fabric of one of the most important and lucrative software that it has. In 2023, Microsoft announced Microsoft 365 Copilot, a deep integration of generative AI into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Teams. With Copilot, users could generate summaries, draft documents, build presentations, and automate repetitive tasks directly inside the tools they already used. And since then, Microsoft's rolled out AI Copilots for cybersecurity, CRM, coding, and more, a systematic strategy to embed AI across every layer of its software stack. 
Microsoft's AI story could have ended with Tay, a cautionary tale of when ambition outpaces caution. Instead, it became a turning point for them. By partnering aggressively, integrating quickly, and learning from its early failures, Microsoft has re-emerged at the forefront of artificial intelligence. If you found this video interesting and you'd like to see more on corporate tech in the future, please consider subscribing. This is Tyler Dutchover. Thanks for watching.